Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your GPU for more FPS, less delay, and overall just get more performance out of your GPU. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. I'm going to leave links in the description for everything I'm using, but the first thing you're going to want to do is download MSI Afterburner, then Heaven Benchmark, and then OCCT here. Again, I've had links in the description for all of these. If you're like me and you don't want to search for these manually, I'll put a zip with all those downloads in here under the YouTube Tweaks channel in my Discord. I'll just name it GPU Overclock. It's not in here yet, but I'll put a file in here just called signsgpuoverclock.zip, and it'll have these three files in here for you if you don't want to search for them manually. But again, I will put the links in the description for these. So once you have the files, just go ahead and put them on your desktop. We're going to use OCCT last, Heaven Benchmark second, MSI Afterburner first. So you can just set them up like that if you want to. So we're using MSI Afterburner to do the actual GPU overclock. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and extract it first. We can delete the zip once you've done that. Open up this file and run the setup, MSI Afterburner setup. Uncheck Norton 360 for Gamer and then click Install. Click OK. Next. Click I Accept. Next. Uncheck Reva Tuner. We don't need that. Click Next. Next. And Install. Once it's done installing, all you're going to want to do is uncheck Show Readme. Click Finish and then it'll pop up like this. So this is what we're using to do the overclock. We're gonna do some settings in here just to make it easier for us. So what we're gonna do is click settings here on the left. Make sure start with Windows and start minimize is unchecked. We're gonna have the GPU coming up automatically anyway, but we don't want the actual program starting up. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is check these three boxes, unlock voltage control, unlock voltage monitoring, and force constant voltage. Make sure these are checked. Then over here where it says standard MSI, Set this to third party. Under that, it says update checking properties. Check for available product updates. Set this to never, just so when your computer boots up, it doesn't prompt you for an update. Click apply, click yes. Then go back into the settings, go to user interface. It says user interface skinning properties. Set this to this one, MSI Cyborg Afterburner Skin Red. So once the app opens back up and it looks like this, we're gonna wanna change some settings. These top three settings may be unlocked for you. You can see how these two are grayed out for me. All we really wanna do is unlock this top one up here, but if all three are unlocked for you, just go ahead and slide them all the way up. I'm gonna show how to unlock this top one because we do wanna unlock that one if it is locked for you like it is for me right now. All you're gonna wanna do is open up File Explorer, then go to Local Disk, go to Program Files 86, go to MSI Afterburner, and then Profiles, and then it's gonna be this file here, this long one here. It's, it'll start with VEN. All you're gonna to wanna to do is open this with Notepad or Notepad++. So I'm just gonna open it with Notepad++. Yours may look a lot different from this. For me, I only have the startup section. If you already have something like this that says settings, then just add the line below this. But if you don't have settings, then add it manually like this. From there, directly under settings, you're just gonna to wanna to type VDDC underscore generic underscore detection equals one. So VDDC underscore generic underscore detection equals one. I'll put that in the description too so you guys can just copy paste it. So then just press control S so it saves or just go over here and click file and then save. And then again, if you have other settings, like just say you have settings here, settings here, and then this isn't here, just press enter right next to settings and then paste it right there. So all the other settings are below. For me, I only have the one setting so it doesn't matter. I'll get rid of these and save it. So once you've done that, just go ahead and exit out of MSI Afterburner and then open it back up and you'll see that the core voltage is now fully unlocked. So now what we'll want to do is slide the core voltage all the way to the top, the power limit all the way to the top. If you have temp limit unlocked, just feel free to slide that to the top as well. We're going to turn the fan speed up so temps really won't be a problem. They're going to be really low. From here, the core clock and the memory clock, the starting number is going to be different depending on what GPU you have. In the comments of this video, I'm going to put some of the more popular GPUs and what numbers you should start with. In my case, I have a 5080, so this has plenty of room to overclock. So I'm going to do plus 350 for the core clock and plus 1700 for the memory clock. Again, these are really high numbers and your GPU may not be able to do these high numbers, especially to start with. So be sure to check the comments or look up what your GPU can start with. That way you don't run into any unexpected issues. In general, a super, super safe number to start with is plus 50, plus 500. That's honestly really barely an overclock. And it's just a really safe starting number you can do just to begin with if you're scared. But like I said, I know that mine can start off at plus 350, plus 1700. So we're going to do that. Uncheck the auto button from fan speed. 
where it says 30, type in 75. That's gonna ensure our GPU stays cooled. And then the startup section over here, make sure you click it and that it's red. So what that means is the service that's actually doing the GPU overclock will start. So your overclock will start automatically when your computer starts up. It's not gonna start up this, so you won't ever see anything. But if this is checked and highlighted like this, then the GPU will always be running. You don't have to open up MSI Afterburner. I actually encourage you to not keep this program open because it will increase your delay. So once you have the settings set up and your core clock and memory clock set up to the starting number you found in the comments, if your GPU isn't in the comments, just let me know and I'll reply to you with what your starting number should be. But once you have the settings, just click the checkbox. That's gonna apply it. So what we're gonna do is just click the save icon here and then click the number one. So our default profile is saved. We're not gonna lock anything yet, but just so we have our base profile saved, we'll do that. You'll see since we turn the fan speed up, our temperatures are already going down dramatically. If your GPU fans are really loud and it's too loud, you can turn this number down as low as 60. I wouldn't really go below 60. Try to go for 65 to 70, but if you don't care about the noise or it's not too loud to you, 75 is highly preferred, and that's what I'm gonna do for the video. So once you have the base overclock set up, we're gonna head over to the Heaven Benchmark file that you downloaded earlier. So double click on it, click Run, click Accept, Next, Next, next and install so that's going to install it click finish then we'll double click the shortcut it made on the desktop it's going to look like this there's a couple settings in here you want to make sure it's set to even if you have a 1080p monitor make sure the resolution is set to 1440p and then make sure the settings here are the same so with the api and dx11 quality ultra extreme disabled disabled x8 uncheck this um, it's very important that full screen is unchecked so just make sure that's unchecked too then what you're going to want to do is click run after a few seconds it'll start to launch it so once it's launching, you'll see your GPU temps will go will spike back up because it's using the GPU. As you can see, we're only at 50 degrees because we turned the fan speed up so high, so we're good. So after you apply the base profile I gave you in the comments, what you're going to do is increase the core clock number by 20 to 25. I'm going to do 25 in this instance, so I'm going to go from 350 to 375. Press enter for it to apply, and then what you'll do is press the check mark. And then what we're looking for is any issues on the benchmark. It'll either freeze, crash, don't be scared if the computer locks up that's just simply a part of overclocking and that's why we're only doing 25 at a time so if it does freeze it's not going to cause any harm to your components at all since i'm using my nvidia encoder to record the video i'm not going to go much higher than plus 400 or so because i don't want the video to crash i'm going to go through a scenario with you in case you end up going like plus 100 or even plus 200 above what i gave you in the comments for the overclock if so congratulations I'm glad you guys got a nice overclock but let's just say you do another plus 25 and then it freezes up so what do you do what you'll want to do is just click the reset button here and you'll see that'll immediately reset everything and automatically check it so you don't have to check anything and that'll reset your settings so then just reapply the base settings or just click the one and that's why we saved it earlier so what you'll do then is just click check mark again if the whole computer freezes up and you can't click the reset button here what you'll do then is just simply hard power off your computer so hold the power button for about five to ten seconds so it shuts off all the way turn it back on open up MSI Afterburner and then just reset it and reset the base profile and then set the core clock minus 20 from what it was when it crashed and then try again. So the core clock is what's mainly going to affect your performance. The memory clock though we can increase by about 200 per. So after you do the base settings I gave you in the comments, let me go ahead and set this back up to 400. The memory clock is 1700 so we're going to try 1900. So once you've increased it, you can just click the check mark, see if there's any crashes, any stutters, anything like that. As you're doing this and you like the settings and there's no issues, you can keep saving to different profiles. So you can see the profile one is the base one I gave you in the comments. And then number two is a new stable high overclock. So you can keep upping these numbers about plus 20, plus 25. And then this one by about plus 200 or so. You can maybe try plus 250 at a time if you'd like as well, or even plus 500 if you have a high end GPU. Generally, if you're on a 50 series, you can just crank the memory clock up to 2000 pretty safely. I'd recommend starting at about 1500 to 700 though, and then crank it up slowly just to make sure because you could have got an unlucky card. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the actual overclock. So once you get your settings how you like them, just press check. Like I said, I can probably crank my core clock up a lot more, but just for the sake of time in this video, and I don't want the video to crash and have to re-record since I'm using it for my encoder. But what I would keep doing is just go to 420 next, press the check mark, see if it freezes, 440, 60 and then basically just keep going up until there's issues and then once you get your final overclock set up just save your profile again i'm just going to do profile three 
click the check mark and then click the lock just so that it doesn't accidentally change once you're done with this you can just exit out of the benchmark and then you can close this one as well the next thing we're going to want to do just to make sure it's fully stable is open up occt again you're going to have to run and install it so it's loading right now once it loads up i'll walk you guys through what to do next so if it prompts you guys to install it feel free to go ahead and do that once you have the app opened head over to the 3d adaptive setting right here make sure it's set to variable and then just click start you're gonna have to wait 10 seconds here just for it to go through so just wait for this so then once the 10 seconds are up it'll say start so just click on this green start button here and it'll start it what we're looking for is any errors so right now it says no errors detected ideally you want to let this run for at least 30 minutes if you do get an error it'll populate here and it'll also tell you the amount of errors detected what we're looking for is to let this run for 30 minutes to an hour with no errors so if you do end up getting an error in here even though you pass the heaven benchmark all you're going to want to do is open up MSI Afterburner and then it'll most likely be the core clock. So try turning this down by 25 and then running this again. If you're still getting errors, try another 25. And if you still get an error after that, then I will try turning your memory clock down by about 200 and then trying again and then repeat that cycle until you don't get any more errors. So in my instance, I'm going to stop this just after two minutes because I know mine is stable because I've done an OC similar to this before. But for you guys, let that run for about 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure you're fully stable. Once that's done, feel free to uninstall this software just so you don't have any blood on your computer you can uninstall the heaven benchmark and occt you do need to keep msi afterburner installed but like i said you don't have to keep this app open so feel free and i please encourage you to close out of the app just so it doesn't stay open you won't even see it in the taskbar down here but the overclock still is running and i know that especially because you can still hear your fan speeds kicking up but that's pretty much it guys hope you guys get a nice fps boost from this if you guys have any questions and you want any particular values for your particular gpu in the comments just let me know other than that if you guys want all this done for you and way more book an optimum on my website science.net i do a gpu cpu and ram overclock for you as well as many other optimizations in bios and in windows to ensure you get the least amount of latency possible and the maximum amount of fps your computer can have and that way you have full peace of mind knowing you have the best optimizations on the internet and that your computer is running at its maximum potential so you don't have to do any more optimizations from youtube or anything like that other than that if you guys have any questions let me know and i hope you guys have a good day peace